What's up everyone? Hey, in our last video, we went into the origin story of XZ Backdoor. Hope you all were able to check it out. But anyways, in this video, I wanted to actually dig into the technicals. So what we're going to do is going to go through a tutorial of how to set up your own XZ Backdoor Honeypot. So you can then see how it works on your own virtual machine. We're gonna then discuss how to implement Wireshark, capture some packets so that you can go and do your own threat hunting analysis and see what the XZ Backdoor is all about. Again, thank you for liking and subscribing this YouTube video and we will see you in just a moment. What is up everyone? Well, thanks for staying with us. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to jump into how we can actually get and test a honeypot that's vulnerable to the XZ backdoor. So then you can do some testing on your own box. What I have shown here is just a run-of-the-mill Ubuntu dropped into a virtual machine. So what the first thing that you have to do is going to be uh, get clone HTTPS uh, github uh, com AML wings and I'll be dropped in this into the description so that you don't have to go ahead and do that. I already have it installed, but this would be your um, get everything into there. Now, next thing you're going to do is sudo apt install open SSH um, server. I again have this already done, but you're going to go in and uh, do this yourself. And as you can see, it's already done. Uh, newly installed, nothing, etc. So we're going to check which SSH. User bin SSH. Um, Want to do a quick file lib uh, and x86. And we are going to actually, one second here, I am um, which is it SHD? Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and um, see because the one thing that we have to know here is that in this x86 uh, there is a certain library that you're going to have to replace and it's going to be from the in the assets section of that uh, github repository you cloned and so it's going to be this you might want to go ahead and make a backup, so copy it and to a dot back. But what we see here is libLZMA. This is the shared object file that you're going to be wanting to change. I'll show you here in a second how you actually get to that. But let's, I just want to make sure. So let's home test. All right, clear. And again, what I was saying earlier is we are going to change into that that box there now one thing that you're going to as i mentioned uh, the key for copying over that shared object file is going to be that we have this patch in the github repository talks about that there was the attacker's private key well this got modified so that we can use it extracted out the private key of that attacker, put in a known one. And so basically what we're going to be doing is copying this over and replacing that 5.4.1. And the way to do that is going to be sudo um, copy, and it's going to be from whatever directory you have, but assets slash lib lzma dot so dot five dot six dot patch 
and we're copying it over to the library that we had a little bit earlier before that we sh showed. And if I can type zma.so.5.4.1. So again, we're copying that over. I've already done it, but it's to make sure that we get the patched file in. And you might have to then go ahead and I just want to check the status here of uh, SSH. It's active, running on port 22. Um, normally, once you copy that over, let me start that again, you're going to want to stop SSH. And let's just check the status to confirm. And Let's see, okay, deactivated successfully. Now, let's go ahead and start it. Because you want that new shared object file to have taken over. So, we're going to check the status again. And it is active, listening on port 22. Good. All right. Let's clear that. We're going to move up. Now, you're going to have to go ahead and build that. Some of you might have to go ahead and uh, install Go, but it's Go Build then in order to get the XZ bot. So again, Go Build. That gets you that XZ bot here. And one thing I want to check as well, just to show you, because what it defaults to is going to be creating a .xz file and showing ID. And we'll show that here in a second. But this is to demonstrate that we're checking the temp file. Nothing's there. We don't have a .xz file, which is good. Or not good, however you want to, depending upon how you want to look at it. All right. XZ bot. So let's do XZ bot dash H. All right. So if we just do... The bare minimum we're going to be running uh, 127.0.0.1 22 because that's what our SSH is running on and we don't have to do anything with the seed and again the command string um, is a default to uh, running ID in the temp directory into that .xz so let's go ahead and see what happens and dot xz bot address 27.0.1 22 all right it has run we see that here now let's go to the temp boom we have a dot xz file so sudo nano dot xz the id so it worked. It worked handily. Let's try something else just to show that uh, we can do other things. And all right, clear it again. So dot x uh, z bot uh, dot address. 127.0.122 and let's see command um, touch temp xz all right let's go to temp and we have that xz there so, again, we generated this file, xz, and it was all done basically with that honeypot that we have that's running that SSH. So, um, the next thing that you can go ahead and uh, get started on as well is going to check out the, let me just move to a different window here. Sorry, it's a little bit shorter, smaller. Um, but we want to do Wireshark, pseudo Wireshark. 
we're going to set it to the loopback. We don't have anything, we're not capturing anything, and let's go ahead and just move that out of the way here, just so that you can see that we're gonna capture something a little bit lower. So again, home test XZBot. All right, let's, um, touch XZ1. It's a new file, so let's just go ahead and uh, run it. Boom, we got a whole bunch of packets here that uh, the elliptic curve, Diffie-Hellman key exchange, and so you can be digging into all of these little packets that are showing us that actually, basically what's going on in between this. So again, we're gonna go check the temp file. Let's just see what we have. We got the XZ1 file. Based upon that last touch we have, we have each of these different things. So now you can go drop this on your own machine, and start testing around, start doing Wireshark, playing around with XZBot, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. So thank you for joining, and till next time.